What's going on guys? Christopher Journals Comics. Short little video today showing you guys off a new way of how I'm going to be organizing. Uh, this is just for a specific piece of my collection and not my whole collection. As you see, I got a box here that has some comics in it already. Uh, and I've been going through my collection. <laughs> I'm sitting down here on the ground. I got a lot of stuff up here. Some of this stuff up here is going to go in here. I just need to press it up. But okay, guys, you know, I, I, I had that awesome haul last week and I got a lot of good Bronze Age and Copper Age stuff. And I got to thinking, you know, I'm always evolving in terms of how I collect and how I organize. It's always a big conundrum in a sense. And I got to thinking that, especially since, you know, keeping everything alphabetized is just getting over packed <laughs> in, 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 in the space that I have for my long boxes, I already started taking certain runs and putting them separately over here, which are volume one runs, uh, volume one of Fantastic Four, volume one of Thor, Avengers, so forth. Um, so what I'm doing here, though, is... This box, which I guarantee you was going to grow into either multiple boxes or a long box or, or whatnot. This box is going to be for specifically Bronze Age runs. And what I mean by that mostly is going to be Bronze Age runs, bronze slash copper. Runs that were probably shorter runs, uh, most likely under a, under 100, maybe even like under 50. But definitely under 100 issues that pretty much started in the Bronze Age and ended in the Bronze Age or ended in the Copper Age or somewhere around, you know, basically from like 1970, 1971 and into like maybe, I don't know, 1983, 84, but I wouldn't put anything in here that starts necessarily in the 80s. Uh, so let's just go through it and, and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, so we got Battlestar Galactica here, which started in the mid-70s, uh, I believe. What was it, like 77 maybe? 35 cent, beginning of 35 cent books. Um, so there's that. Black Panther, which was a what? I mean, this was a short, what was this? Like a, was it 12 issues? I forget. 14? So I got number one. I got number four. I'm trying to get all these books in my lar. Number five, number six, there's number 12. Uh, we got the Captain Marvel, um, which this is Silver Age, I know. This is like late 60s here, but um, you know, it, this is number two. The majority of it happens in the Bronze Age. Here's number 28, an early appearance of Thanos. 29 we got the champions number two number four number eight the eternals the first series number four number 18 and number 19 uh, we got fantasy masterpieces which featured silver surfer there's number four i got a, another one or two of those that need to be pressed uh ghost rider there's number 10. And I have I have the last issue of this too. Number 80, 80, 81, 82, somewhere around there. Uh, that needs to be pressed. Got Invaders. This is number 33. Uh, John Carter, Warlord of Mars, number 15. Journey into Mystery, uh, volume 2, I believe. Uh, Man Thing, number 1, volume 2. Uh, Marvel Double Feature. Number two, number four, number seven, and these uh, redo the um, tells of tells of suspense. Uh, Eleven, twelve, twenty, and then we got uh, Marvel feature with Red Sonia. There's number two, number three. We got uh, Marvel Spectacular. Number four, here's Marvel Super Action, reprint of Cap 100, Marvel Super Heroes, number 24, Marvel Super Heroes, number 38, 
Master of Kung Fu, number 24. Uh, the first Miss Marvel run, there's number 12, number 13, number 20, first new suit. Uh, 21, 22. Man Called Nova, number 16. I got a couple more of those that I need to press. Uh, Omega 1, Omega number 2. Red Sonia, number 3. Number 9, I believe that was Volume 1. Strange Tales. Now, I have Strange Tales in here, and I know this started way back in the um, whoops, Silver Age, but whatever. I, I, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. It, nothing's, it, it's going to be interesting to see how this formulates as more books enter. Uh, Tomb of Dracula, number 45. Here And here's my Warlock series. There's number 1, number 1 again, number 2. I need number 3 still. There's number 4, number 5, number 6. Number 7, number 8, number uh, 12. I, I have 9, 10, and 11. They just need to get pressed. Uh, number 13, number 14, and I need number 15. So that's the box, guys. That's what I am doing. Um, so like I said, anything that's that's a big run that crosses over silver, bronze, copper up into modern like Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1. Uh, which I have in my two long boxes, Fantastic Four Volume 1, Thor Volume 1, all the big ones. Those are obviously going to stay together. I'm not going to take out the Bronze Age stuff and put the, that particular part of the run in a box. It's silly. Even uh, runs like, say, my Spectacular Spider-Man run, which starts in the Bronze Age, but runs into modern, uh, that's staying together. I mean, it's a huge run. There's no point in taking part of it and putting it in another box. But again, if it's a smaller run, and it starts either at the late Silver Age, most of it's in the Bronze Age, or starts in the Bronze Age, ends a little outside of the Copper Age, whatever. One I was kind of contemplating on maybe putting in with these is Doctor Strange, because that starts uh, in the Bronze Age and ends like right at the end of Copper in the mid-80s. Um, what, what's another one? Defenders. Uh, the Defenders run uh, might be one that I'm thinking, but I don't know. See, those are bigger runs. I think Doctor Strange goes to like... 80 something or I, something like that and I know Defenders goes to like 140 somewhere around there so you know and that gets up into the late 80s so I don't know I'll probably keep those separate in their own boxes especially when they get when I add to the run and they get bigger so but you guys get the idea let me know what your guys' thoughts are uh, on that I'd love to hear it love to hear if you think it's awesome or silly <laughs> and let me know if you guys do anything similar or anything extremely different Alright guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.